What is up, everybody? I did a thing yesterday. Uh, after my shift at work, I stopped by my local Red Wing boot store to get a new pair of work boots that were desperately needed. And in the process, drove by a guitar center. Well, can't drive by Guitar Center without going into Guitar Center. Alright, so I was in the market for a cheap throw around, take camping with me electric guitar. And online I found this Mitchell MM100 Mini for 90 bucks. Guitar Center. I felt like for $90, I'd give it a shot. Let's take a look at this guy. Pretty headstock. Nice double cutaway. Two humbuckers. Tone volume control, three way switch. String through design. Bolt on neck. Let's take a look at it. Severely out of tune. I'm a little disappointed. I feel like I got uh, false advertised, if you will. The model I played at Guitar Center clearly had uh, some work done on it by them. This has some pretty rough fret edges. Not terrible, though. But it looks pretty. I think uh, if we put a little bit of work into it, file these down a little bit. Uh, see how it stays in tune, maybe need some new uh, tuning pegs, but let me tune it up and see how it sounds.
right, final review of the Mitchell MM100 mini guitar. Uh, came with some blemishes on the finish. Um, not too concerned since I bought it to, you know, not be concerned if it gets damaged anyways. And for the price point, it's kind of expected. Um, it does have some rough frets, uh, the fret edges. Um, not to the point where it's cutting me by any means. Um, just again, I feel like the hanger model at Guitar Center, they had done some work on it prior to hanging it and uh, had a lot smoother fret edges. Um, does have some fret buzz. Which, again, price point. Um, the tuning seems to be, um, the more I play it and breaking in these strings, it seems to be holding in tune a little bit better. Um, I did have to tune it back up a couple different times. Um, and it only has like one wrap up around the tuning pegs. I don't know if you could see that or not. Um, but I think if I restring it, you know, that will probably be a little bit better too. Um, the three-way switch, as you saw in the video, the little knob popped off. Um, I think if you just had a little dab of Gorilla Glue or some other adhesive, keep that cemented in place would fix that. Um, it does have some static. Volume's off. I don't know if you could hear it. But as I touch the strings or set it down, it gets pretty bad there. Um, but the volume pot itself isn't much of a volume pot. It's kind of just an in and out. Yeah, I noticed no change except for when it just cuts off. Um, it did come with a Allen wrench to adjust the truss rod and a kind of a cheaper feeling cable that I probably won't use since I have better cables already anyways. Um, overall, I think it's good for anybody that wants to, you know, not spend an arm and a leg to having a super expensive guitar that, you know, they could throw around, not worry about it getting scratched up. Uh, it could be a kid's first great guitar, being a mini with a shorter scale and everything. Um, I totally think it's worth $90, and I believe it's going to be um, an awesome companion to bring up to the woods with the Spark Mini and just have a blast around the campfire. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends. If not, well, that's okay, too. Rock on.